We're here at the 2012 Boston Book Festival at the Tumble Home Learning booth, and we're talking with co-founders of Tumble Home Learning, Penny Noyce and Barnas Monteith. I'd like to ask a few questions. First, what is Tumble Home Learning? Tumble Home Learning is a new company meant to excite kids about science and engineering and allow them to experience themselves as scientists and engineers through adventure stories and mysteries along with activities that they can do at home. Why did you start Tumble Home Learning? Well, we started it because we found out that kids learn best when they're having fun. Uh, Penny and I have both been involved in a number, a number of different uh, science and engineering adventures over the years, and we found that kids really like to have uh, their science content embedded in a fun story that takes them on a personal adventure or mystery or something else that gets them really excited about the subject. What are your books about? Well, we've... We've written the first two books in a series called The Galactic Academy of Science. And in the Galactic Academy of Science series, two middle school students stumble across a scientific mystery. And in order to solve it, they actually travel back in time and talk to scientists from the past to learn the key science they need. My book is about the early history of electronics leading up to the computer chip and the next generation, which will be diamond computer chips. And my book is The Furious Case of the Fraudulent Fossil, which takes kids on an adventure throughout the entire history of modern paleontology. When the Russian scientist Professor Gufa accuses sixth grader Clinton Chang of stealing his invention, all Clinton and May want to do is get away and work on their science project. But then, a dudette from the future tells them about the Galactic Academy of Science and sends them on a mission back in time to beef up their scientific knowledge. May and Clinton meet Dmitry Mendeleev, Niels Bohr, John Bardeen, William Shockley, and Robert Noyce. They break up a seance, escape from the Gestapo, jump from a plane, attend a Japanese conference, and finally return with enough understanding of electronics that they can tackle the mystery of the Russian scientist and search for his missing diamond chip. On a museum visit, Benson and Anita meet a famous paleontologist showing off his newest fossil find, a missing link between dinosaurs and birds. But something doesn't feel right. Then a dude from the future sends them back in time to visit an ancient Chinese scientist, dig a huge sea monster out of a cliff, and outwit a fossil thief. Benson and Anita gather the clues and knowledge they need to root out and expose a fraudulent fossil. <laughs>